if you've seen the previous D DX6i video where I did a backlight mod on it, you'll notice I used um, LEDs and it had kind of like a weird flashlight effect on the screen where certain parts of the screen would be brighter. And that was because, you know, because the LEDs behind it. So I really wasn't too happy with it. I mean, it, it did the job, it lit up the screen, but I, I was a little bit annoyed by the, uh, the flashlight effect. So what I did was I ordered some EL panels, electroluminescent um, panels from eBay and installed those in instead. And it, actually it's quite easy to do. It's much more easier with the L than the LED mod. Um, so if I turn it on, I can show you right here. So you can see it's the screen is lit very well now. There's no bright spots. And it looks pretty professional. It looks just like a DX8. Um, the parts for it weren't that expensive. They're only about twenty dollars, and you need to buy an EL panel, uh, for which is about fifteen dollars, and then you need to buy uh, an inverter because EL panels run off AC current, and obviously the current running off of your transmitter is DC. It has to be converted to AC and to drive the um, the EL panel. So that's they're only about four or five dollars, so they're not that expensive. So one of the first things you're going to need to do is solder the, the EL panel to the inverter as seen here. There is, no, there is no positive or negative for this so you can just solder to any one of the two poles and it doesn't matter and be sure to use electrical tape or some heat shrink tubing to cover up the exposed ends because you don't want anything to short when you're putting it inside your uh, transmitter and obviously you're going to have to open up your transmitter and take out the LCD. You're going to have to pop off those wires and make sure you you make a note of where those wires go. So maybe take a picture of it uh, be, so you know how to put it back together. So this is the LCD screen. Uh, on the back there's this silver backing and some people what they like to do is to actually remove it. And I've tried removing it actually on um, the Turnigy or Flysky 9X and I ended up taking off the whole polarization layer with it and that was not good it kind of freaked me out but luckily enough I was able to get a, a polarization layer from uh, an alarm clock I had kicking around and I just stuck it on the back and it just worked so I was very lucky I'd say you don't have to take off this backing at all it's very bright even with with it on so if so looking at the screen right now if you're happy with that then leave it on and I also have a clip of the of a close-up of the screen at the end of this video so you can judge for yourself how bright it is it um, when I'm looking at it, it's actually very bright and very clear so I don't think there's really a need to take off the silver backing it's, it's a lot of work because once you remove that backing there's a lot of residue left and I tried using goo gone and it wouldn't come off and it, it took it takes a lot of effort to remove it what you want to do is obviously the EL panel is too big so you're gonna have to trim it down, um, trace it out with a marker, and then cut it. This is a picture of the EL panel and LCD already put into the DX6i. And I use the on contact point and the back contact point, which is shown here. So before we close everything back up, let's make sure the inverter is taped to um, the side of the transmitter so it doesn't move. Also make sure that all the solder joints that you created are covered with electrical tape or heat shrink tubing and put all the screws back. And that's about it. This mod isn't very hard. I find it a lot easier than the LED mod. You just have to solder four things and cut the EL panel and it's just a matter of putting it back together the way you uh, took it out. And when you turn it on, the light comes on and it's it's a very nice, uh, well-lit screen. So this is a very low-cost um, modification for your DX6i to make it look more like a DX8. And uh, I hope you enjoy this tutorial.